rice. Start off with a large skillet. Place in the skillet one quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. Heat this over medium high heat and add one cup of uncooked rice. Stir the rice around so that it's well coated in the oil and continue to cook it over medium high heat until the rice begins to brown. As you can see here some of the grains are turning whitish and then they will start to brown. You can see the nice brown color. Add to that half a cup of chopped up onion, which is about a small onion, and about a half a cup of chopped up green pepper. You can most certainly vary the amount of onion and green pepper to, in this according to taste, of course. When the onions are almost done, when the onions are almost translucent, add in three cloves of garlic minced. This, of course, can be varied to taste, and continue to cook until the onions are translucent. Add to that two cups of canned diced tomatoes with their juice and a good sized tablespoon of tomato paste. For spices you need a half a tablespoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of black pepper, quarter teaspoon of paprika, and a dash of cayenne pepper. And I don't recommend you sprinkle out of the spice jar onto your food that way because that could be disastrous if you dump too much you should probably measure it out with a spoon or put it in your hand and then dump it in. Now we obviously need more liquid in this so that the rice will cook. So we're going to add four cups of chicken broth. Bring the mixture back up to a boil. Once it starts to boil, turn the heat down to low and cover it and just simmer it on low for about 40 minutes. About halfway through the cooking time, take a look. If the rice is still hard and you don't have enough liquid in, the pan, add a little bit more chicken broth. Towards the end of the cooking time, you can also add a quarter cup of a red wine. If you find it, like in my case, I found that there was a little bit too much liquid, I added another tablespoon of tomato paste just to help thicken it up. I also let it simmer uh, for about five minutes without the lid on it to help evaporate some of the excess liquid. And believe it or not, until the day I made this, I had only ever tasted Spanish rice out of a box. I've only ever had the rice aroni Spanish rice and it was one of my favorite kinds of packaged rice. But after making this and tasting the difference and how good this is, I will never eat that stuff out of a box again. I will make my own because it's not that hard to do and it tastes fantastic. Give it a try.